Well, I've heard so many uh, stories uh, about the curse before. It's a little bit better this year than it has been in past years. It was steeper that, that year in 2015. Round. We've got two more finals to go for the top 16. Most mogul courses are very consistent. You have the same pitch from when you drop into the top to when you ski across the finish line at the bottom. It starts steeper and it gets flatter. This one is the opposite. The pitch change is probably the, the, the biggest difference from other regular mogul courses, I'd say. It uh, starts with uh, six, seven turns. You have the top air. Uh, after that, you have the, uh, the first part of the middle section, which is, uh, that's where you're gonna pick up speed. You ski probably 10, 15 moguls until you hit the pitch change in the middle where it drops from, I wanna say around 23 degrees to 30 degrees. Uh, then you're just falling from mogul to mogul, trying to maintain your speed and ski line coming into the bottom air, which is a really quick transition. First World Cup in Calgary in 2015 it was the first time I skied this course. I think uh, a lot of the athletes from all the different countries have been trying to push after the Olympics and it's making it really challenging out here on the tour for us guys that are just starting off and trying to make a name for ourselves. I still feel like I'm sitting at a level where I need to show my best run every single time no matter what. So this season, the main goal is to try to make it to World Championships. That's the first step, I think, in proving a place on this team. And speaking a lot with my coaches, they reminded me that if I just stick to what I'm doing, it's hopefully the results will come with that. I've spoken a lot to Mick Kingsbury and Phil Marquis. I think those guys have a really keen grasp on exactly what they have to do while they're skiing. And sometimes when I'm kind of not sure what I want to do or how to handle a certain section, asking them is a really good place to start. The one thing I've learned the most from them is make sure you, you focus on your training because uh, even though you look at everyone and everyone's skiing great or jumping so well, what can you do about it? Nothing. So uh, make sure you focus on whatever you can control. If you keep skiing the way you can ski at your best, that's how you're going to make a name for yourself. Focusing on myself is probably the biggest advice they gave me. Uh, my coach just tells me to stay calm when I'm skiing and focus on my process goals and not be thinking about the competition. Just another training run. Oh, nicely done, Brandon. 3 I like it calm up there, but I, it's nice to know that my coaches, uh, especially Freddie, because he's the one taking care of me. It's, it's nice knowing that he has my back and he believes in me. We have a little uh, ritual before. Uh, he's going to give me some taps on the back just to make me relax. You have to, to be sharper, for sure, in qualification in World Cup. So you have to bring up the intensity a little bit. But by doing that, you increase the chance of making mistakes and errors. Oh, man, a lot of guys are getting kicked a little bit coming through into that uh, bottom area, keeping their speed under control. I'm not sure if there's a sort of little I always try to reflect on my, my performance and try to pick up the positive things and uh, like 18 is nowhere near to a podium or a super final so I have a lot of room, I have a lot of improvement to, uh, to make. Every day that I ski my goal is to improve on my skiing, improve on my jumping and my results. I think ultimately 
you always have to try to focus on the positives of what came out of that event. What did you do right? Because if you're just skiing the following event focused on how poorly you did the week before, you're going to be in a bad mindset. Since I'm a little kid, that's my, it's one of my biggest goals for sure, being a podium, uh, podium guy at the, in the World Cup circuit. Like I, I train in the gym and I train around the competition like a, a guy that wants to eventually be on the podium and to, to make it happen, it would be uh, everything to me.